I like to have them in a down position and really what I'll just start to do is I've got some treats and I'm just going to start to touch his foot and reward him for that. Touch his foot and reward him for that. And you want to make sure you're doing all four feet. Touch his foot and reward him for that. And you kind of want him to stay in the same position. Can't reach his other foot, so touch his foot, reward him. And I'm just going to do this over and over again until he is just looking at me really expectantly when I touch his feet because he knows he's going to get rewarded. And so you don't want them pulling away. If he were to pull away, what I would just do is I would do like a really either slight touch or I might even just reach toward it and not even touch it, reward him and then back off until he's really comfortable with that. And then once you can get to the point of touching it without him moving back, then you can kind of move on from there. So then the next step would be kind of to actually like hold the paw and then release from that. And so I'm gonna hold the paw, reward, and then back off. And I'm not squeezing or anything, I'm really just putting my hand underneath his paw because he's gonna have to get used to that feeling as well. Just biting my hand, so we're just gonna back off for a second. And you might have to go a little bit at first, uh, or at the same time at first, just to get him to not grab at that hand that's going at him. Good boy. Good. Good. And go for some duration. Two treats and then release. Again, I'm not squeezing very hard. I'm just kind of putting my hand around his foot and rewarding for that. Then once your puppy is used to you holding all their paws, you can start kind of trying to separate their toes and, you know, kind of try to really look at the nail, you know, put your fingernail against the nail, spread out each individual toe. Um, make sure you're not doing too much at once. Like you want to start with one or two repetitions of that. Um, for each foot and just make sure that they're really comfortable with that before releasing. So separating each toe, kind of pulling back the hair and looking at it, rewarding him through that experience and then backing off. So I backed off because he got up from that position. I'm going to see if he'll do, you know, maybe me just touching. Yes, good boy. <laughs> I know that's fun, isn't it? And then I'm going to say we're done just because he's his attention span is super short. Okay. Uh, again, I want to leave him wanting more rather than being like, oh, thank goodness we're done. So once your puppy is really, really calm and comfortable with you, pretty like standardly messing with their feet, you know, you can spread all their toes. You can separate the hair from the toes. You can really like look at each nail and you can do that on like all four feet. Then you can start to introduce whatever tool you're using. So we're gonna use a Dremel. Um, and so what I do is I start with it behind my back and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it out, I'm gonna feed, <laughs> and then I'm gonna put it back behind my back. I'm just gonna do that a few times where I'm gonna bring it out, feed, put it back behind my back. And what this is doing is it's just making it so that the sight of this thing means good things rather than the sight of this thing meaning, oh my goodness, my nails are gonna be done. So bring it out, reward. Once your puppy is used to that, we can start turning it on. So I'm gonna start with just the lowest level, feed, turn it off. And then I like to put it behind my back again. So I'm bringing it out, turning it on, rewarding, turning it off. Bringing it out, turning it on, rewarding, turning it off. He's reaching for it because he's curious of what it is. He hasn't seen this up close yet, so he just wants to check it out. That's fine. But and so there, I just waited for him to back off of it a little bit. I don't want him to get too curious and want to bite it when it's on, right? <laughs> And try feeding a couple treats while it's on and then off. 
Now what you can do is you can try to hold the paw, turn it on, yes! And then I'm gonna reward. Hold the paw, turn it on, yes! Reward. Remember you wanna do this with all the paws, yes! And I'm just starting with just like holding the paw. I'm not move. I'm not like moving it around. I'm not messing with his feet. I'm just pairing the sound of the Dremel with me also holding his foot. Yes. Yes. I'm turning it on a little bit higher. Pretty comfortable with it right now. Because I don't use this on the lowest setting. I use it about where I hear. Yes. <laughs> but I'm going to want to work up to that. I'm going to start messing with his feet um, and so I'm turning it on to the level that I use it at and then I'm going to start spreading his feet um, making it so that I'm going in between each toe getting him used to that kind of feeling while this is on thank you yes so adding a little bit of duration to that take breaks to make sure they're having fun right if he comes back and and <laughs> lays down that means he wants to continue doing this right he's having a good time he wants more of it um good boy yes and sometimes i'll go back to easier things so i don't always want to go harder 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 i want to make sometimes easy so i might just do a little bit of oh i'm going to touch your foot and reward i'm not going to turn the thing on um make it kind of harder and easier just so that the dog isn't getting consistently worked up or you know feeling like it's gonna get harder each time and so once he is pretty comfortable with me you know turning this on touching each foot you know moving his toes around parting the hair i'm gonna start to try to do the approach of this and what i'll do is i'll go back to it being off so i'm gonna hold the foot <laughs> i need this one So I'll just touch, yes. And I'm just gonna barely, barely touch the nail. And if your puppy is, is concerned about this going forward, I might just hold and just do like, I'm gonna touch my hand and then reward instead of making it so that, you know, it's touching them. Cause if that's too much, we don't wanna do that yet. So touch, yes. So we're teaching him to leave alone that movement of this moving and that it means good things, yes. So once your puppy is consistent with, you know, you bringing it just close and kind of just touching each paw, um, you're not really going for any nail in particular, then you could start going for each nail. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna spread the hair, I'm gonna spread the toe and just touch lightly, yes. Good boy. And see how he's getting up and I'm not, I'm not touching him and I'm not cueing him again to lay down in the position. Like he's choosing to do that on his own because that's what's been historically rewarded, right? He's only been rewarded when this thing has been out, when he's been laying down. And so we're going to practice him kind of offering that behavior without me having to cue it. Um, it's fine if you have to do that to start the session, but now he's gotten a lot of repetitions of this kind of happening. I'm just touching random toes on random feet. Yes. So 
So once your pup is consistently letting you kind of touch them on all four of their feet, of their uh, nails with this while it's off and they're used to it being on and you can touch their feet. Yeah. Now you can start trying to actually like move towards while the thing is on and touch them. So, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> and he's offering a trick that we've been practicing. So he's trying to figure out how to get the treats. Come here, bud. Come down. Down. Good boy. So I'm going to hold this, turn it on, and move it. Yes. And reward him for that, that movement. And again, I'm not going straight for touching, right? I'm just moving towards it. Yes. And then I'm doing, turning it off so he can get that uh, rest from it. You want to practice with all four feet and you can go back and forth of making it easier and harder, right? Sometimes I'll touch. Sometimes maybe I'll just turn on. And other times I'm moving towards it. Yes. Once your pup seems really consistent with that, you can kind of put it all together, right? So we're going to turn on, move towards, Touch, yes, good boy, and reward that. Super, super simple touch. I'm not doing any duration at all. I'm literally just, yes, tapping it so it makes the sound and he can feel it a little bit. Yes. Yes. duration into this. Once your puppy is comfortable with doing the touching, then you can start to add in some of that, you know, I'm going to actually try to take some length off the nails. Um, but you want to do this really, really slowly. I mean, he's five months now. Um, and this is the first time we're really getting to doing this. Otherwise, we've been doing some peanut butter and clipping his nails as a distraction way to keep it still kind of positive and doing a lot of this build up of touching feet, you know, making it a really good experience for him so that this will be a long last lasting behavior rather than trying to rush it and then him deciding, oh, I don't really like this and us having to do a lot of work to make it super fun and positive later down the road. Yes, good boy. So I usually at first, for the first while I'm doing this, like to reward after each toe that I do. So if I'm gonna work on one nail, I'm always gonna reward after that one nail until the puppy is really, really, really confident and calm with this procedure. Then I might try to do two nails and then reward um, for a while, then do three nails and reward for a while. That's something that, again, I wanna go really, really slowly to make them really successful and really comfortable.